friends i am going to show three cases of b hex this is the first case capsule has been stained viscoelastic substance is being injected into the anterior chamber and little bit underneath the iris little bit of moxi uh, viscoelastic substance that is spmc is spread over the corneal epithelium for better visibility now this is the b hex people expander make sure that it goes into the anterior chamber completely if it goes like that then you can tuck the leading flange at on go then you tuck the other flanges alternate flanges are tucked just use these 23 gauze crocodile forceps recommended by the inventor of this device dr suven vatacharchi now this is the third flange hold it like this and tuck once you do this you are ready for capsulorexis and fecal emulsification cortical cleanup now you implant the intraocular lens make sure that the lens doesn't cause undue pressure on the flange just in front of the main incision gently implant the lens in the bag and now take the forceps again the 23 goes forceps hold the flange at 4 o'clock untuck all the flanges hold it superiorly just in front of the main incision and pull it out it is so simple this device doesn't need any injector system this is the second case see what has happened the trailing end is tucked in the main incision if it happens you cannot tuck the leading flange at on go so just push the trailing flange into entry chamber inject some viscoelastic substance and now you use the 23 gauze forceps hold the flange which is centered at 5 o'clock and tuck it very gently underneath the iris it is not at all difficult it is very simple now if hold the other flange the flange which is at 1 o'clock and tuck it like this be very, very gentle otherwise you can injure the anterior capsule which you are going to see in the next case you have tucked all the flanges then you just do capsulorexis and then fecal emulsification and this is the third case see what has happened the capsule the anti capsule has been injured and now what to do let us tuck all the flanges this is the flange at 1 o'clock and one more flange alternate flanges are tucked doesn't matter which flange there are some holes in alternate flanges these are for the use of manipulators we can hold the tabs for see what has happened the tear anticapsular tear has extended now i just hold that part and convert this anterior capsular tear into rxs so if the central part of the anterior capsule is injured you can always manage and now in this case i am going to show some steps to do hydrodissection be very careful in hydrodissection 
rotate the nucleus and then do direct vertical chop hold the nucleus firmly and chop it like this rotate the nucleus hold it another place and chop it this free nuclear fragment you emulsify like this you manage the nucleus and now cortical cleanup can be very comfortably done by bimanual irrigation aspiration then you implant the intraocular lens dial the lens in such a way that the lens is in proper position and then hold one of the flanges above the iris untuck all the flanges hold the flange just in front of the main incision and pull it out thank you very much for your attention